Welcome ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Serious Strategy Gamer and this is Taskmaster, where every Tuesday I go up against five other YouTubers to design chips in Ultimate Dre Admiral Dreadnoughts and fight with them against a given foe. So this week's, week's task is going to be a little bit special because this is the first time we're doing a team task. So History Guy Gaming and Spartan Elite 43 are going to play as the United States, Every Day is Different Gaming and Brother Monroe are going to fight as the United Kingdom, and Stealth17, together with me, we are going to fight as the Europeans, basically. So we can actually pick our nation uh, from a couple of ones. And I'm going to go through that in a second here. We're going to start this. And our task is going to be to design one battleship and one battle cruiser. Each of us is going to design one ship. And we are going to go up against a ship that does include a lot of other, ship, uh, uh, a lot of other designs here from the Empire of Japan in 1916. Let's get that right at a distance of 20,000 meters. There we go. Now the catch is we only design one of these ships each and Stealth 17 has al or actually already designed the battle cruiser, so we are actually gonna only design the battle ship. And we're gonna go up against these five different enemy ships. Destroyers worth one point, two points, three points, and so on. So we can pick from various different nations here. Um, I think Spain is allowed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. So let's go with Spain. And uh, let's fight against Japan. Right, hit design ship here, and then this is what we get. So, first of all, we're going to go up with the displacement here, because cost is not an issue. We can design just a big ship as we go. We don't have to give it any range, so let's go for short range. That does save some fuel. And because money is not an issue, I'm going to go on the best options here on all of these things. Auxiliaries and shafts are probably going to be useful. And then I'm going to go with the best armor that we can afford. Best bulkheads too, and best anti-flooding, yeah, I like that. Now in terms of torpedo protection, well, I think we need some because we're going to go off against a destroyer and a light cruiser at least. So they might get some torpedoes in, uh, I'm afraid. So let's do that. We do have TNT. The flash fire chance is a little bit higher, so that does mean... There's a slight risk that we are, that our ship is going to explode underneath us, but it does have good HE, so high explosive shells damage, which is, again, kind of useful against destroyers and such. So let's go for that. Let's do go for enhanced reloading. Not sure we need more ammo, but if we do go for TNT, then I probably want at least pop at one. I think that's going to be okay. And then in terms of rangefinders... I think we're going to go for the lower ranged ones, simply because I don't know much about Spain, but it doesn't really have good accuracy. And we probably do want good bulkheads, right? Yeah, be a little bit more, have a little bit more damage absorption. Right, with that being out of the way, let's go for the advanced tower, yeah. So Spain doesn't really get good accuracy, and they really don't, and that's pretty much all that I know about them. So, yeah, and that... I mean, long-range gun accuracy would be nice, uh, but I think the shorter range is going to be a little bit more useful, um, especially since we, since, we are, uh, since we are fighting the destroyers and such. Right, um, let's check out the funnel. Can we fit it in? Yeah, we can fit it in there. That's good. We are still on naturals, and we are at 56% engine efficiency here. 26 knots. Is that the tall funnel? Yeah, right. 56. Well, that's it's not a lot. If we go for induced, oh, induced is already 100%. That's a little bit more, and of course it's 102. What if we go for the advanced funnel? 64. Okay, so I think tall funnel is probably going to be the best. Yeah, let's go for that. Good. That does leave us with the choice of guns. We have a bit of forward offset. That's not going to be an issue. 14 inch guns are Mark II. This is Mark III, Mark III, Mark III, Mark III. Okay, I think 13 inch guns are going to be better. And uh, 3 inch barrels are definitely better than 2 inches. Can probably fit a barbette in here. Oop, there we go. Alright, uh, let's put this a little bit to the rear here. Let's do take a stand up barbette, I guess. Right, okay, so that does sort of work out already. We actually do have a lot of weight left, so I'm thinking that we might... Oh, 
Okay. Okay. This is this this is a fun design. So we've got what six triple turrets now. That's eighteen guns. In nineteen sixteen. In nineteen sixteen, eighteen guns are kind of hefty from for broadside. And six forward firing, six rear firing. You do actually have a very good firing arch on this one. It's almost capable of firing to the front. So that's interesting. We are very close to our weight limit here, though. We've done all of this, though. Ooh, I think we do need acoustics. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit tight. What about secondaries? Uh, we do have barbette slot, uh, sorry, kazmat slots down here. We might want to use those. Mark three, all of you are Mark three. Well, what are we going to use against the destroyer and against the light cruiser? Slightly tempted to go for the six inch guns because I think they do have a little bit better firing rate. Uh, we should actually check Cosmuts. Yeah, the weight is actually kind of okay too. So, what's your accuracy? Five inch guns are also kind of okay, but let's think about the six inch guns. If the ship is overweight now by actually 1,000 tons, and we can't dial that up. So let's remove the rearward facing ones, because I think the forward facing ones are more relevant anyway. We're still a little bit overweight. You know what, I think we're going to remove one of our turrets, and then we can go for slightly more secondary guns here. We could actually put that in the middle, couldn't we? Can't we? Yeah, I think we could. Well, that's interesting. Maybe we can even put that on a on a s elevated barbette there. So that's what standard barbette is. Okay, can we place you a little bit further to the rear? No, we can't. Although we do already suffer from a pretty hefty forward offset. So we could place our secondaries here on top of that. Good firing arch, forward facing, and and kind of okay. You're 200 tons though, and the standard thing here is 160 tons. It almost doesn't make any sense, does it? And the forward weight offset is kind of hefty here, even though we've got three full turrets to the rear here. Let's make sure that we're placing you to the, as much to the rear as possible. We can bring you in a little bit. We do have some weight left here, though. Do we want to keep on placing you like that, or do we want to place one here in the middle? You still do have a good firing arch there. If we move you as much to the rear here as possible, I think you can still fire almost to the front, which is going to be very useful. And then secondaries, we might want to place another one of you guys somewhere over here. You still have a very, very good firing arch. I think it doesn't even change that much. Yeah, this is still pretty cool. It's 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 an absurd layout, mind you, but it's it's okay. It's it's a very forward. It's it's a ship designed to fire forward, really. Um, or just barely off uh, off our center line, and it has a couple of six-inch guns, so that's okay. We do have a, a couple, well, about a thousand tons left. We could, of course, try to do squeeze in yet another one over here. That might work out decently. I think that's okay. Okay, so we've got nine normal, and another like four on each side. I think I'm pretty happy with this. This is this is this is a good enough design, I think, for me, in terms of the gun layout. You're the one that can fire the least to the forward. Your your firing arch is is the most constrained one. But other than that, I think this is looking not too bad, is it? Could go for torpedoes. I dislike them. I don't think we're going to go that close. Yeah, they just spell trouble, don't they? Okay, fine. Turrets, yeah, this is this is always debating that. Turret traverse speed, it can come in useful, but not to the degree I think that we're going to face that here. Right, and uh, let's do use the rest of the weight here to invest in armor. 
just like to bump that up as much uh, as we can just to see sort of how much we've got and I think we can probably dial it down to 12.5 give the conning tower a little bit more like 13 inches at least a little bit more than the belt I dislike any other setup turret armor should be a little bit higher turret top armor should be a little bit higher than that can probably go down a little bit here still a little bit left maybe again on the conning tower and maybe on the extended belt. I mean, we've got a good citadel. But still, it might be useful. Okay, that's pretty much all the weight that we can squeeze in here. I don't think we need more... More arm ammo. Oh, but we probably want to go at least heavy shells. Huh. Well, that's 300 tons that I now need to shave off. Okay, 200 tons gone. 70 tons left. Let's go a little bit low on the deck armor here. I think we don't need that much deck armor. I think we're going to come in relatively close. So belt armor might be a little bit more suitable here. Secondary 6 inch. I think that's going to be okay. Yeah, and it just doesn't make sense to have lower turret top armor than deck armor. At least let that be equal. Right, let's start this up. 12.8, I think that's all we can do. Probably just going to squeeze in a little bit more on the conning tower here, just in case. Right, that's looking fantastic. Uh, forward weight offset is still a little high for my taste. Can't move you further to the rear. We're still at 100% engine efficiency, are we? Yeah. Okay, can we pull you in a little bit? Mm, no, not really. Okay, can we pull you a little bit to the rear here? 3%. Wasn't it lower first? Did, did I just move it? Okay, that's okay. You can't go any any further to the rear there. Neither can you. I dislike 3%. That's a little bit on the high side for me. But... Yeah, and you're not going to make any difference here whatsoever, are you? Yeah, I do want me to keep you on the center line, though. Okay, I think it's going to be alright. Good. Let's go for it. Let's see what we are going to get. Um, didn't really change the speed. Don't think we need to. I think we're going to be better off by a relatively low speed. Um, and then the ability to... Okay, they are on the north. Which is pretty much exactly not where we are facing. That's unfortunate. Let's get over there then. There we go. Isn't she a beauty with that weird, weird secondary layout there in the sort of center of the ship? It's a much bigger ship than it needs to be, it feels. But... The Santa Ana. Right. So they are to the north, and I'm really hoping that uh, I'm not going to disappoint stealth here. It, it's a funny feeling to be relying on someone else in, in this kind of fashion. Right, okay. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. There we go. Someone has spotted us, and uh, we haven't spotted them, but there are two shells coming our way from sort of over here. Can't really tell what ship, uh, what shell size that is, but we're going to turn that way <coughs> to uh, hopefully be able to engage them. Now, one thing is, we don't really have good accuracy here overall uh, on our ships, so we do need to be slightly, we do need to come in relatively aggressively, I think, to be able to engage them at all. But at the same time, we're really relying on a very heavy broadside here. So, whoop, there we go. That's the first ship. That seems to be relatively small, isn't it? Yeah. That's a destroyer with at least two triple torpedo tubes. So I'm going to ask our secondaries here to engage that guy. Our primaries can engage him for a while, uh, but I think I would rather not like to get too close to him if we can avoid it at all. And we're going to ask you guys to use heavy, uh, high explosives just while you're trying to deal with that guy. 8 kilometers, what's your torpedo range? 7.2. Yeah, we know the capital ship must be somewhere around over there. They are. They have spotted us. Right, there we go. We have spotted them now too. So, let's see about this. Nope, that looks to me like a heavy cruiser. Do we want to engage the heavy cruiser? The battleships and, and so on are really the bigger threat. And I am worried about this guy here, so let's keep on firing on this guy. 
I think the heavy cruiser is the ship that we can ignore the easiest in a way. I'm much more worried about the destroyer here. Here we go, another ship. Isn't that interesting? So you've got two big guns. I'm guessing 14 inch guns. And then a lot of smaller guns here. 10 inch guns, probably. Are you battlecruiser or are you battleship? You might be the battleship. Right, let's check what you've got. You've got torpedoes, that's interesting. You've got some 5 inch guns. You've got 9 inch guns, that's what that was, and, and 13. Okay, also off by, by 1 inch there. And you're going to the right, aren't you? Yeah, you are going to the right. That's a little bit unfortunate, because if I want to intercept you, I'm going to run right into that destroyer. Uh, which I do not like to do. For obvious reasons, uh, which I call torpedoes. Right, okay, you're going to fire off a little bit against that guy. Which is okay, as long as he's not emitting smoke, I think we can continue to fire on him. At this very low range here. Even though that heavy ship there is trying to engage us. They've got 13 inch guns, we've got 13 inch guns. We do have heavy, heavy shells, don't we? Can we see that? Standard ammo shells? Hmm, not sure. Right, okay. I'm thinking he probably launched torpedoes at us at 5 kilometers here. Seems to be likely to me. Also, he has started to emit smoke, which makes us a lot less likely to hit him. So, let's keep an eye on what's going on over here. Right, there's the second capital ship. Well, I'm really not sure which one is the battleship, which one is the battle cruiser. I'm thinking probably this one is the battle cruiser. But this one has much smaller guns, don't they? Six-inch guns, eleven-inch guns. Okay, so the bigger threat to me is this one, by virtue of his thirteen-inch guns. We're going to target him, we're going to go for auto here, and we're going to use our secondaries on, on this guy there. And hopefully that's going to work out in uh, getting rid of that attack. 26 knots is not a very bad speed. Okay, good engine damage there. That is going to make it less likely that he's going to be able to intercept us further. Ooh, you know what? Let's target him completely with everything that we've got. Flash fire there, and he is sinking nice. That's good. There still might be torpedoes in the water, mind you. Ooh, and look at that explosion. Tiny turret, but it does a lot of damage once it blows up. Right, also we've uh, found another ship here, which does seem to be a light cruiser. Which does seem to be a light cruiser, and I cannot see any torpedo tubes. He might have some underwater torpedo tubes or so, but at least I can't find a lot, so that's nice. Right, what are we going to do? I would like to go in this direction, but I've started to turn away from him. Okay, let's try to go there, and I'm hoping, really hoping, that we're not going to find any torpedoes, which we're now going to turn back into again. So, let's see about that. Well, maybe I should not have said anything, right? There we go. Torpedoes. Yeah, we'll not be able to stop. I think, if anything, they're going to pass behind us. So, I think the best choice here is to go straight. As straight as possible. Lose as little speed as possible. And and try to come up. Try to avoid them that way. Where are they exactly? We're going to try our old bearing trick. To see whether we are going to be hit. Can't see them, though. Oh, yeah. There they are. Right, ooh, no, this is a big spread. Now, they are passing behind us, but I'm not sure about this one here on the left. That seems to be a straight out hit to me. Yeah, that's going to be a hit. We might just be able to outrun him. If we go slightly to the left, maybe that is going to help. Oh, that's a bad spread here. Six torpedoes right away being shot at us. I'm hopeful that we're going to be only hit by one, but that early hit is going to cost us very, very dearly.
We might be lucky here. No, he's gonna hit us in the in the sort of rear of our ship, I think. Very little that we can do about this. Okay, let's turn away from him. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, no, he's gonna hit. He is gonna hit. Whew, he did not hit. Did you see that? That was that was just millimeters from from triggering on us. Whew. Okay, sorry guys, I just need to recover from that. Okay, uh, what are we gonna do now? <laughs> sorry. Right, um, so we've got this presumed heavy cruiser. We've got this presumed battle cruiser. No, wait a minute. Okay, that probably is the heavy cruiser. That might be the battleship, and this might be the battle cruiser. I'm thinking this is what that is. Right. So let's target you with our main caliber guns. And our secondary is. This is going to be the light ship here, right? Yeah, the light cruiser. Use our secondaries on you. There we go. And then we're going to turn very aggressively here to the right. And try to close in with everyone because we really don't have the accuracy to deal with any of that. But, well, speaking of, I mean... We do have torps, so... Okay, yeah, but you just started smoking, so that does mean... I'm not going to try to engage you. In fact, I'm going to stay a little bit away from you. Only our secondaries are going to try to go for you. And in the meantime, our primaries are going to try to engage them at the very long range here. But only 1% chance to hit. That's that's basically not going to work out at all. Okay, your range is was 4.8, right? Yeah. Okay, you are closing in. But I think we are going to be alright. Our closest point of contact here will be 4.8. So you just might be just launching. Let's turn a little bit away and we should be safe, I think. Right, that guy hasn't suffered any damage. So, I mean, we haven't either. But man, that destroyer was, was really a tough knuckle there. That was, that was so close. Really lucky here. I don't think a single hit would have done that much against us. Um, it would not have sunk us, but it would have caused our accuracy to drop. Ooh, there we go. Nice hits there on that battleship, battlecruiser. We don't know. I'm thinking battlecruiser. So that's good. Not much in terms of flooding, unfortunately. Yeah, okay. You've only got four torpedoes, so you're not that big a threat. But I still think our secondaries are maybe going to deal with you very nicely here. I'm still sweating, actually, a little bit from that torpedo hit there. So, or almost torpedo hit. Keep an eye on you. Only four torpedoes. Probably two to each side and low loadout. I think that's what this is. Underwater torpedo tubes. Probably two on each side and, and a reduced loadout. Can, can we tell that, actually? Standard reduced armor torps, and you've got 19 inch guns, uh, 19 inch torps. Which you just launched or did not? No. But you are suffering some engine damage here, which is nice to see. And we have actually lost our target there, so we are going to engage the light cruiser here with all of our guns. Uh, but that I think is okay because it's still going to be annoying to have around. And I would much rather sink it quickly here. Uh, we can probably go for high explosives. It is down to 80% structural integrity already, so... Ooh, there we go. That's that's good hits here. 13-inch guns on such a small chip. They do make short work of, of that, so... Good going here. Curiously enough, I think our staggering here is... Yeah, still the center turret there should be able to engage them, so... I think that's okay. Still no torpedoes in the water. That's uh, a good thing. Oh, we actually did damage the battleship there. I did not expect the rear ship there to be the battle cruiser. Although it does make some sense. It was the smaller. Uh, it does have the smaller caliber guns. Okay, we'll need to deal with them in a moment. But I think this is going fantastically well over here. So let's actually deal with them. Right there we go. 
Okay, so Ushima, the light, uh, the battle cruiser, you've got thir three inches of deck armor, seven inches of belt armor. That is what? Citadel 4, crop 2. The battleship, we don't know much about you yet. Still, the battleship does ha have the bigger gun, so let's engage you with our primaries. Secondaries can go on the heavy cruiser. And we're going to try to move towards you because I think we need to. Otherwise, our accuracy is just going to be way too badly. Way too bad. Okay, um, how about you? You've got 19 inch torpedo tubes, range of 7.2. Torpedo speed is kind of high. I think you've got the fast torpedoes, but I'm not sure. Right, secondaries are going for that. And um, we can switch to normal ammo here. Okay, now we know something about this ship. Right, let's compare the armor to see who's going to be more susceptible to damage here. Four inches of deck armor. I think you also had four. In no, you have three inches of deck armor. You've got nine inches of belt armor. You've got seven inches of belt armor. It's a relatively well armored battle cruiser. I mean, four battle cruiser at least. But you've got 13 inch guns. You've only got four 13 inch guns, and the rest is nine inch guns. We've got 11 inch guns, but a lot more of them. I think the main target here is going to be the battle cruiser for a while. Except, of course, with the secondaries. Um, reasoning for that is he has more guns that are threatening us, and he's going to be a little bit easier to take out. Um, we've also done a little bit of damage on the battleship, so they might already suffer some, some negative effects there. Right. In terms of torpedoes, you've all got a couple, so we're not going to get super close. <clears throat> I think it's okay. Actually, the heavy cruiser here has the most... Uh, the most torpedoes. Right, there we go. Ah, oh, come on. That would have been a nice hit there. Right, we do need to be a little bit careful here because we've mainly reinforced our belt armor rather than our deck armor. Mm. Excuse me, just need to take a sip of water. Um, and at this angle here, you can see the shells are co coming in. <coughs> excuse me, in pretty much of an arc that is that is coming down, very parabolic and, and very much plunging fire uh, that might hit the deck and might do a lot of damage to us, uh, because again that's our weak point. Whereas if we do get closer, I think round sort of below 10 kilometers, it does get a much more flat trajectory, uh, which is going to be beneficial towards us. Force. Right, 29 knots on their battleship, 32 knots on their battle cruiser. They are much faster than we are. This is not a game about speed, but speed can help, certainly. Right, we're going to try to engage them here at, at extreme ranges. I think we're going to actually switch with all of our guns towards the heavy cruiser, uh, because he's going to be much closer, he's going to score more hits here, and he might have the chance to uh, put some torpedoes in the water. And I'm going to accelerate timing here. Also, he's much closer, so that does mean we are much more likely to hit him. Picking off, there we go. That's a small hit. Not a big one, but... There we go. We are sending a lot of shells his way. Really, really like to see that. We have a relatively okay chance to hit, but, I mean, look at that. It's 6.5 kilometers, and we only have a 6% chance to hit. I think the German ships are just generally much better at doing that. So maybe we should have picked those. But they do have other weaknesses, I think. I'm not entirely sure what the differences are between Spain and Germany. But in terms of building the ships here... Ooh, there's a nice hit. Rodder damage, fire flooding. Uh, we don't have any torpedoes, so... Rodder damage is nice, but not going to be dramatically important. It's going to reduce his maneuverability a little bit, make it a little bit more likely that we're going to hit him. We are relatively close here. So we do need to be very, very mindful about his torpedoes. It's probably going to be underwater tubes as well. Don't think there's anything over water. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that. He has launched... I think he's launched a single torpedo there. So what are we going to do about that? I think turning aggressively in is probably going to be the best choice. So yeah, let's do take a sharp turn here to the right. We are starting to suffer some damage here, 2%. Battleship is doing... Eh, all of them are doing worse. 
We might launch another set of torpedoes though. But I think this is going to be okay. Right. Let's keep a very close eye on that. He's suffering a lot of flooding. His buoyancy is coming down rapidly here. We've got a large number of guns for, for a ship this size, but... Okay, there we go. That's the torpedo. Easily avoided that one. Can bear, bring to bear a lot more guns here on you. Just cause a little bit more flooding here. I think he'll be done. Unless he's going to recover. He's going to recover a little bit from that, isn't he? What's our speed here? We're near our maximum speed. Okay, there's a little bit more flooding. Okay, wait a minute. I do need to keep an eye on his tops. Yeah, he's launched another one. We're going to again turn in towards him. Distance is decreasing here though, so that is becoming an issue. On the other hand, if we can sink him quickly now, he might not get off another one. We're also extremely close at this point actually to the battleship. Only 7.4 kilometers. Come on. Come on. Just take him out. Take him out quickly here, please. We do have a lot of guns, but the accuracy is so, so horrible. Okay, we need to be more aggressive here in our turn. Okay, we can go a little bit more like that. More flooding. That's good. That's what I'd like to see. He doesn't have that many compartments, bulkheads. So, there we go. That's a lot of damage. Come on, you're going down, aren't you? I would really like to see him go down. And I would like to go him down quickly before he can launch another torpedo. Because at this range, I'm not sure we're going to be able to evade that. Yeah, there we go. Good. Right, um, let's switch back to the battle crew, uh, battleship. So I think at this point it's the closest. 6.4 versus... yeah, 9.9. .9. It's much, much closer. Okay, simultaneous damage here to both of our um, superstructures. But, I think he has taken a little bit stronger beating here. Yeah, we at 96%, he is down to 77 Pretty much a blaze there in the front of the ship. Yeah, well, remember, he's only got four guns. We've got how many? <laughs> Fifteen or so? Yeah. Not all of them are firing, though, so that is a big issue. Um, I think we can actually go down here with our speed to get the benefit of being nearer to our crew speed. Not that concerned about torpedoes anymore. 77, he is, he is uh, having some water ingress. Okay, let's go with our secondaries for the battle cruiser so that this is a little bit more spread out. Okay, we do need to turn more though. Come on. Yeah. Look at this accuracy. 5.6 kilometers and it's down to 10%. He's going to be, have a much higher accuracy, I think. Yeah, but look at our, our secondary shells uh, flowing that way, too. So, come on. There we go. Yes, very nice. Flooding down to 67% on his side. Uh, he has torp, so we must not completely ignore that. Right, let's come in a little bit around. He also has some engine damage here. Nice, nice. Good flooding there. I think we can go like this. Unless he's launching a torp. He's losing a lot of water there. Yeah, well, at this distance probably even his 9 inch shells are going to do some damage against us. But there we go. Ammo detonation actually. Still more flooding. He's going down. We are going to switch targets. We are going to come closer towards him. Yeah. Even, I mean, even at 10 kilometers, we only have a 1% chance to hit him, actually. 
<laughs> which is kind of pathetic. Right, so let's come, try to come closer towards him, see whether we can take him out. We are down to, uh, we had 45 minutes around about. Uh, time is not a big issue on this game, but it will decide draws, so if everyone is capable of thinking everything, time will be the decisive factor. But we'll see. Right, come on, come on. Seems like it's pretty much mostly our secondary is fighting at this point. Right, I think we can go this way. And let's check on whether we're actually closing in with him. And on a good intercept course. I think he's passing in front of us. Yeah, that red line is is, is tilting to the right there. So we must go a little bit more like that, I'm afraid. Which will bring more of our guns to bear, so that's good. And I think at some point... I mean, we must have an okay accuracy here. Yeah, 3%. It's not great, it's not great, but it is something. Right, let's try to bring more of our turrets on him. Yeah, he's basically crossing out here at this point. And he does have a lot of guns, even if it's only 11 inch guns. Some flooding there, that's nice, that might slow him down. He's 32 knots, he's, he's a fast ship. Whereas we really aren't. We might dial up our speed here, our power. Oh, that's a lot of water ingress there. That's good to see. Yeah, he's gonna slow down now, so that's that's a good chance for us to come in closer. But even at eight kilometers, five percent chance to hit. That's that's really pathetic. But I think we are going relatively well over here. Just watch me say that and, and blow up due to some flash fire. But no, no, no. This is looking good, my friends. Here we go. I think that's all the ships, isn't it? Yes, it is. So that is very, very nice to see. Good. Okay. Hope that's all right. I think it was below an hour. So, and we did sink everyone. So that's good. And our ship was actually uh, doing fairly well at the end there. So pretty happy I did that actually with Spain. Um, not sure. Not sure. But uh, yeah, uh, do check out the videos of the other guys. You will find them in the description down below. We'll also find a summary uh, of Pascal who will be uh, basically giving an overview of how everyone did. So, that being said, hope to see you around, especially on next Tuesday, for the next Taskmaster Challenge. Bye-bye, guys!